breakfast live it's breakfast live hey everybody it's breakfast live breakfast live breakfast live lord of god it's breakfast live anytime you come it's breakfast live looking color because we know we can strive good morning good morning janelle good morning to you morning Thanks for joining us. Good morning, everybody. It's breakfast live. It's Thursday morning, and we're about to put the show on the road. You know what I mean? Because time is getting away from us, and we got to get this thing going. All right. So, welcome to Yardy Belly TV. This is Yardy Belly Et. Yardy Belly will be on cam very soon. But, um, yeah, good morning to you guys hope you are doing well we are under the weather hope tan good morning fam morning morning okay let me see speak up yourself, speak up you yourself. Watch, yeah. you run the tune <laughs> rgg big up big up big up good morning good morning we're happy to have you guys joining us this morning just go ahead in the meantime and give us a thumbs up you know if you are interested to see where we're gonna go with this morning's breakfast live like I said, I'm sounding a bit raspy because my goodly husband <clears throat> finds it necessary um, to love me that much that he needs to share every single thing with me. Like, every single thing, including in sickness. So yeah, for those of you, of you who know, he went to New York and he came back with the flu or the cold or whatever he got. But thing is, me know I yeah, New York, New York, New York. But anyway, sickness are in health. We still love one another and we still have to eat food. Hot Kalaloo, Banda. <laughs> Hot Kalaloo. Yes. We're eating some greens. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of. Uh, Breakfast live. Good morning to you. It's a beautiful morning, and this for those who have never been on this program before, it is an interactive breakfast tutorial. We're Jamaicans are willing to listen, and we are just here sharing a little bit of our regular lives, our normal lives, uh, with you guys. So we do hope that uh, you will enjoy uh, this morning. Once again, good morning to each and everyone that's viewing. And today we're doing Jamaican Callaloo. Now, Jamaican Callaloo, what can I say about Jamaican Callaloo? It is, it is a, a, a vegetable mm -hmm. and it's, uh, you would compare it to, um, it's in between co collard greens mm -hmm. and spinach. spinach right. So it's not as, as rough as collard greens, meaning you don't have to cook it at, for an extended oh, yes. period of time. Mm -hmm. But you also don't have to, um, you don't have to, you can saute it for a little bit longer than you would normally saute spinach. Right. And so when it is cooked, the, the consistency goes down to a, a more tender, you know, right now it's, it's very, very, it's like a, it's like a lettuce. Mm -hmm. it, as it is in my hand now, it is like a lettuce. And All right. usually you can know if it's going to be tough or barky or if it's going to be soft and tender by the, the stalk. So this stalk was very soft to the touch. So we know that it's going to be a soft. And one. so what we have done, the preparation, and this is just for those who don't know. Mm -hmm. The preparation involves picking them at a, at a green stage and then uh, stripping them because you do have to remove a little bit of the outer stalks. It's an annoying process, I can tell you. Yeah, I get her to leave some but unfortunately we didn't get to leave any yeah. so that i could show you that process so, like i don't know if you guys can see right here mm -mm. these are the don't things here, baby. oh where this thing that is hanging off that that's what we had to actually take off yes. all of them you know so you, you strip, strip it down and then you cut it up leaves and stalks and you clean it wash it and make sure it um it's prepared but this is this that we have here would be one bundle of mm -hmm. Kalaloo, or it would be the same proportion to a, 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 a serving of um, collard greens. Like a bag of. Yeah, like a bag of collard greens. Kale. 
Jamaicans cook their callaloo different from other nationalities who may consider themselves to be cooking callaloo as well. Mm -hmm. For instance, in Trinidad, callaloo is actually the leaves of a, of a grown um, root. Mm -hmm. It's a grown provision. What do you call it? Dasheen or Baji or something. I don't remember the name. But their cooking process is a little bit different. Ours is just a quick saute um, with whatever you choose to add to it to flavor it. Today, we're not adding anything to our callaloo. We're just seasoning up our callaloo and doing it. All right, so that's what we're doing today. So, let me see where we are and what we are planning to do. And for this process, I have my Dutchie. Dutch pot, Jamaicans have a Dutch pot. All right, this is what we call Dutchie. Trusty Dutchie, remember me tell you. And I normally just wash out the dutchy, put it on the fire. Alright. And let me show you real quick the stuff that I'm gonna use with my callaloo to make my callaloo tasty. Alright. Alright. I have some greens here cilantro all of them like a stuff yeah mm -hmm. and may have some green onions some thyme and of course you see the pepper right there mm -hmm. and some regular onions right and so it is always better to go with fresh seasoning ingredients right yeah because it adds a lot more flavor because pretty much callalo is not flavorful is it no it's not it's not over it has flavorful. its own unique taste let right, me say but that it's not, a, it's not like a big but flavor. it's yes it's not you know that Im intense you flavor. definitely know you let me, i'm washing these ingredients so. right right you definitely know you're eating you're, you're eating herbs and we're especially using a lot of herbs just because we we're trying to get over our you know issue and we're using a lot of garlic you know this is typically more garlic than People would want to use to make this dish but yeah we're about that garlic life because we trying to get over our sickness our mess. sickness and over here we have our herbal tea this was ginger and um fever grass otherwise known as lemongrass and cinnamon stick all right, let me see all who I missed. Good morning, LaShawn. Morning, morning. You know, you love garlic. Hey, <laughs> right. Good morning to you. Good morning, Angela Foster. She said my favorite YouTube family. Good morning to you, Angela. Thank you. Good morning, Kieran Francis. Morning, Shonda Douglas. Deidre, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Good and remember to morning. go ahead and give us a thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And the thumbs up, guys, is not um to do the thumbs up from your keyboard. However, the thumbs up is where you look right here. Right below the video, you would see the, the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Just go ahead and do the one on the left. <laughs> the thumbs up is what we want. All right. We appreciate you for that. Appreciate you. Appreciate love it. And tell them a little bit about Yardy Belly and what we are, what what our mission is. Yardy Belly TV is primarily a cooking channel, but it has also extended itself to become more of a lifestyle challenge channel. Correct. Correct. Where we, you know, showcase, you know, general things that you know, representative of the way we live as a family right it, it it involves our nationalities it involves our preferences our choices mm -hmm. you know um so we show a little bit of who we are you know our family life our church life you know everything. our faith everything comedy. yeah comedy and all of that stuff yes. and you just pretty much want to rough chop your ingredients Okay. You know, we, we sort of jumped the gun a little bit. We started our our fire because, you know, we're still in our work. Good morning, DDL. Good morning, Nadine Johnson. Blessings to you, too. And to those who are watching who may not sign in, good morning to you. 
Purple Passion, good morning. A key in the same thumb broke, same can thumbs up, really. Wow. Guys, like I, we asked, go ahead and just give us a thumbs up. Appreciate it. And this morning, what we got to talk about this morning? What we were talking about earlier? I don't know. I don't for know. Day. And guys, you can also follow us on Instagram. Go ahead, this. Follow us on Instagram. You have Yardy Belly TV, the same name as the YouTube channel. That's his Instagram name also. Or you can follow me. Um, One True Natural is my Instagram name. And you also have Josh the Food Lover, where he showcases his, you know, food experiences and preferences and preferences too. So you can check him out. And Josh is our son. Yeah, for the, those of you who might be new to the channel, Josh is our little one son. Not quite little anymore, but yeah, that's who Josh is. And normally we would have done the, the cutting up and thing and thing, but we're running slow this morning, so bear with us. <laughs> fire we didn't use in no, sir. We wish. We use in the regular fire, but our fire is very unique. <laughs> our stove have a mine of it one. <laughs> The stove either is on high or it's not on anything at all. <laughs> if you try to turn it down off of high, it shut off itself. It shut off. So I think we, yeah, we need that stove. Yay. So, all right. So here he's cutting up the escalion. Are they what? The escalion. What name escalion? A scallion. A green onion. A green <laughs> onion. A scallion. A green onion. Yeah. Isn't Escalion the real name? I don't know about that. I mean, no, say some People, Jamaicans always try is to Is Escalion the real name for Escalion? I know Jamaicans say Escalion, but I'm almost sure. Some Jamaicans say Escalion. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard that name before. For you, all of you who know the, the true pronunciation or the, the real name for this green thing, let me know if it's not Escalion. Yeah. And this morning, I thought to myself, I said, self. Mm-hmm. Why not just make two cooking one time? Oh yes. Because after all, we've been we're not feeling too hundred percent kosher. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you like the stove, you just want to cook one two things one time. Mm-hmm. So, wifey, show them what we cook this morning for going with the curry. Lashon says scallion, scallion. Is yes, it's scallion. I can't access the pot because everything is over everything. All right, so first of all, over here we have some fluxy white dumpling well it's not white dumpling because i put cornmeal in there so these are some cornmeal dumplings and, so, and it's not fluxy it, it not fluxy them hearty them hearty jamaicans use that terminology <laughs> no, no. and he, good. he has some um okras, okras that he yeah, i like okras guys it's, bombarded. it's oh, good for your digestive for you. system and then over here and mainly for my purpose because i love green bananas is some green bananas yes soft green bananas and some yellow yam that we we found hanging out in the house we decided to just add that to the pot too so yeah this is what we're gonna accompany our hallelujah and our other Did breakfast I, I, item with um i could have sworn i bought um tomatoes yes yes you did where are they i talked it in the fridge but there's a big might want to use oh. anyway yeah and guys this is the big dutchie that he's gonna use to, assuming we can get the stove to turn on can i try to turn it on now um you yeah ready? you can you can you're gonna do the color right yeah all right so the stove situation is as such sometimes you put it on high it decides to come on or decide not to come on. Just to show how transparent we are, for the most part, we talk to about the stove. Show and this the is the stove. stove with the foil paper over it. So after a while, the foil paper um, need to change. And it this need to change now. I've gone too bad now. So, yeah. All right. So I'm trying to test if it's deciding to come on. Usually I know it in the matter of, Yeah, but it was on low. So, you know, when it's on low, it, it come off. It feels like it wants to come on. Mm. We start with a prayer. Ashkala mashka. Ashkala mashka. Come on. Come Are on. you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah usually it gets ready in a couple of seconds ask anybody out there if they have a house them don't want because we need a new house yeah wait we take it we're taking house offers anybody have a house to offer us well we can fix it for ourselves you know whether in or out of florida <laughs> 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 Why? Anywhere the free houses, we go there. It's not coming on. I got it. Don't worry about it. <coughs> oh, the wrong thing you turn on, the back one. No, both of them on. You say you want this to stay on? I don't know. It, you put it on high. Oh. Okay. Well, that one I fixed then. While we sort out our Show them what I'm cooking. Um, yeah, this dilemma. Alright, so we're gonna do the callaloos by itself. And then he wanted um this for dinner. So this is how we are gonna merge our breakfast and dinner idea. Because one day a friend of ours um we went to their house or did they, did they invite us to their house or we just randomly popped in? I think we randomly popped into their house. I eat them dinner. And she made some Popping, just dumplings and sausage, guys. It was like eating oxtails and rice and peas. So ever since then, he's been wanting to do that. So he's gonna make up um, the franks, and we're gonna also make up the callaloos. But the franks and the dumpling, he's hoping to eat that for dinner if it's a bad. But we'll see what happens. We will see. And I'm course. using. Tell him the type of franks. I'm this using. is uncured turkey franks. So them have to be careful with, with no it. nitrates or no um nitrites added no preservative and all of them stuff sausage i mean they're not really the best thing in general because it's processed so don't get me wrong we're not trying to advocate that this is a great thing to eat but every now and then you know we eat the thing is me but we try to find the best option of all the options that are on the market so yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. All right. right. Try to get this this so well, this is <laughs> the, the the fire situation. No lie, the fire situation is pretty much as if you were trying to start a wood fire. Probably a wood fire would have started already. <laughs> the Lord is good. <laughs> but we're trying to crank up our um electric stove over there. Hopefully, come on. But in the meantime, in between time, all right, try spelt flour. It's very healthy, even tastes better than white flour. Okay, I've heard about spelt, actually. I think you meant spelt. But yeah, I've heard about that flour. I definitely will look out for it. And um, we're actually trying to find healthier dumpling options. A lot of them that we've tried don't really... We, we try to make coconut flour dumpling. Nah, it didn't taste good. Which other flour we tried before? Um, the, the chickpea. We tried the chickpea, chief, chickpea flour mm -hmm. for boiled dumpling. Mm -hmm. You have to, most of those flours, I find that you have to add the regular, regular flour, flour to it to bind it. So I don't know if the spelt, the spelt flour is, you know, can hold its own when you try to knead it and, and form it into a, um, the shape of a regular boiled dumpling. But if so, that would be good. All right, me just, I cut up my sausage then. Food, glorious food. Just read in the comments. Good morning to you. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, when you cut up the sausage, you just try to cut them fancy. Cut them on the bias. Me no bias. I'm very fair. Uh, it seems like we're going to need more sausage though, don't Yeah, I don't know why you only take that out. You're trying to be conservative. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting some some great um bell pepper in it. Oh, yeah, well, yellow you know, bell pepper stuff over to, there. To, and and some um wet name there. Tomato. And tomatis over her. Mm-hmm. Hope turn. So what are some good sides? when having color look all right 
Aside my, from boiled food? Alf, aside from boiled food, one of my favorite things to have, color low with no lie, is fried dumpling. Fried dumpling and color low is the bomb. And bread. No, I don't like bread and color low. Who eats bread and color low? Me. Bread and color low? Of course, bread and color low nice. One to you, my girl. Hey, you know, so don't sleep on, on rice and color low though. No, sir. Rice and color low, nice. Nobody, some nice buttery in the chat room will like right some now. nice buttery white rice with kalaloo no sir yeah i'm at somebody what else what else do we eat kalaloo with um, plantain <clears throat> i've never had it but fried green plantain yeah yeah uh, i've never had it but it, it should be able to work it should be able to work this this one this one works um, yeah 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 it works You have any suggestions? Any suggestions? Juliet says bread and rice. Yes. Any other suggestions? What do you guys eat your color with? Lux Dream. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh yeah, color soup is actually called pepper pot soup. Pepper Lashan. pot soup. They call it pepper pot soup in Jamaica. Where well, they I'll had... make some for you, Yeah, we're gonna make it. I'm not sure how to make it, but he'll figure it out. I mean, I'm not sure, can they? I don't remember how anything. to make it. What kind of meat going in pepper pot? Or there's no meat? We can put meat, man, but um, some people put pig tail. Mm. But me, me, me not really want a pig tail. Mm, no, pig, mm -mm, no other thing with pig. Dawn, fried bread fruit. Yes! Oh, my forget fried bread fruit. Fried bread fruit and callaloo is the bomb. You know, sit down, I want to sit down, though. Jatori, Jatori Music says, good morning. No, don't put no meat in there. LOL, bless up still. Kalalo eat with almost anything. Yeah, we're not putting the meat. No, we're not putting no meat in there. Kalalo in Jatori. The, the meat, no, go in the Kalalo. We're just going to make up some sachets, some, some turkey sachets for, for dinner. Shrimp. Juliet said shrimp. Shrimp. My dad used to make corned beef and Kalalo together. Which no, I don't no, think anybody No, 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 your father did mad. Yeah. <laughs> Tell anybody to me, tell it. Yeah, daddy used to make corned beef and the kalalo. Aki and corned beef. Aki and corned beef. Aki and kalalo too. Aki and kalalo? Yep. No, you might. No, that's it. Yes, lax dream. Pepper pot. We definitely need for a pepper pot soup. Oh, you could have put the shrimp in the pepper pot, you know? Oh, yay. Oh, that's what the person was probably saying. You put shrimp in the. Yes, yes, yes. Morning, Agatha Ramirez. Good morning. We're making some Kalaloos this morning. And we're also making some Franks on the side. And some some Franks. I forgot with the dumpling and yam and tea. Oh, yeah. It? That's what you were saying, Gillette. Yes. Shrimp in the pepper pot soup. Okay. We're definitely going to make it. Because I'm, I'm here for it. I'm I feel like I want it right now. All right. Fried breadfruit. Everybody said fried breadfruit is good. So good. Fried green plant, nice. Okay, Nadine. Okay. What about right. roti? Roti. I don't think people eat roti with kalaloo, but I can see and eat some roti with curry chicken. Or curry goat. Hopton says so. Oh. What? Oh, so what are some of the meat? <laughs> Hopton, come with the challenges today. All right, him say, what are some of the meat cans you can add to your kalalo if you don't want to be all veg? Okay, Sachis. you can add sausage, you can add the, the tr typical Salfish. thing to add is saltfish. Um, like I mentioned before, if you want to step out of the box, like my dad used to, no, 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 added, no, nobody not stepping out of the box. Corned beef, you can add um, corn pork. The box is too far away from father gun. I have never ate um corn pork and kalalo, but I think it would be good. Corn pork, yeah, what probably, else? probably. We used to put. Do you remember when we used to have leftover jerk chicken? We would sometimes chop it up. And yeah, add it to and when we used to eat pork too, jatori. I like yeah. eat jatori. Steam fish. Well, you stuff the steam fish with kalalo. Yeah, that's another way to have kalalo. Yeah, you stuff the 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 belly of the fish with the kalalo. Yeah. Has, has anybody tried the Trinidadian version of Kalalo? <laughs> Steve Allen said chicken back. Chicken back and Kalalo? For real? That one they're deep. Oh, okay. That one they've gone deep, I Steve. Like Steve. Okay. Chicken back and cocoa bread. Okay, that, that would be Kalalo loaf. Yeah. Pretty much. Because they sell Kalalo loaf, which is the 
the loaf of bread where the callaloo is stuffed inside and sealed and baked. No, no, there's a version of callaloo where, where I've been fooling around with. Rosemary said bacon. <laughs> and Rosemary, the bacon, mm. yeah, bacon, bacon can, can work. But again, we actually have the bacon thing. You know, I have be, I've done the callaloo with coconut milk. You remember? And the turmeric and, and cook it down in the coconut milk. And guys, I promise you. Mm-hmm. You have to step out. You As a matter of fact, look on the video. Look, search oh, in the video. Oh, with the chickpeas? Yeah. That was good. Kalalo with chickpeas and it cooked down in a mm-hmm. coconut milk. Nice. Guys, I'll know me it hurt me. May I tell you? Jack Torres said, you are the belly. Big up on the comedian works. Funny, me lock my ears. I, uh. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you have never heard or seen him in action, you need to go and check out some of his stand-up comedy um, clips on YouTube. on YouTube. Guys, he is literally the best comedian that i have ever heard in, thank you kindly. in and outside of the jamaican arena come i don't care what nobody else come. says so yeah <laughs> how are you how are you warming how are this morning all right so the, the, we have some some olive oil in the pot right put the color first yeah we can put the color first i steam we steam it there's no there's no hard and fast way to do it but we can put it first trust me mm. But this one, we have, we have the, the, the pot I did, right? Mm-hmm. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some garlic. Garlic? Not that much. Mm-hmm. You know? How we're going to use it. We're going to use up the one like garlic now. I'm camera. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going to pull it up, garlic. Pull it up. Garlic. Then, I just want the garlic sweat. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Juliet said I had chicken back with cake. <laughs> wow, Juliet, you love chicken I back. I thought I was bad with the the bulla and patty or bun and patty. I'm adding some onion. Mm-hmm. And then may I, see the, the, the garlic start get toasty, you mm-hmm. see? Mm-hmm. Add the color look. And that's as simple as you want it to be. Yeah? And you just start to stir your kalalo. Make sure so that the seeds are not burn at the bottom. Mm-hmm. You hear the tune? Mm-hmm. Kalalo is one of those um, food ingredients that is spring water. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to spring water because then nowadays food you're not spring water again. But this is fresh kalalo I bought at the store at the um, Latin American store. Mm-hmm. And you have the Caribbean store in, in South Florida. Yeah? Do you know any nutritional benefits of kalalo? Iron. Oh, yeah, it's a good source of iron. Um, well, a lot of times I can't find any benefits for his body. But any green leafy vegetables in general? is a good source of um um is it chlorophyll 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 which oxygenate your body it it, 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 it you find that in the callalo you know and i think so, callalo is a source of fiber too fiber yeah then something that good for you see all right and then we have to add some over here so now see may add some time at some time and that's pretty much what you want to do with Kalalu. you just want to nice him up yeah make him feel comfortable and you add some green onions all right so so hope Tan, it says it contains vitamin c four times Scotch bonnet pepper. Mm-hmm. It contains four times the amount of calcium found in broccoli and twice the iron, which men may not need excess iron, but yeah. It contains vitamin C for bu- boosting your immune system, B vitamins for good mood and vitality, and vitamin A, which is a great antioxidant. That's why so that's a moody. <laughs> So that's a good starting point. I'm sure there's there's way more benefits to it, but you know that's a good starting point based on my limited research just now. So it's good for you. Anything green and leafy, guys, can go wrong. 
See, looking at the fridge with the butter for me. Just don't eat grass, regular grass. Hmm? Looking at the fridge with the butter. Maybe stick butter. I haven't seen anything in the It made them on it, like top shelf somewhere. Huh? Yeah. Where come the guys? Just go and watch the column for it. But do you stop in and back? Open the container and look at everything. No, it's empty. Okay, call it. No, that's not it. It's a full stick out there, the man. Full... Go and watch the color look away where I come. Don't make it burn, guys. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, it's in the drawer. Put some water. Oh, but you never take an eye of the color low enough because it would burn. <coughs> See if we miss any comments. It's supposed to be Akian. Chicken back and Aki. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna add, and it's very important to add some butter. And real and butter, we're not using margarine. Real butter. Our butter substitute. Yeah. Real butter. Callaloo is so easy to cook guys. It is pretty much done. We used to overcook the callaloo. Back in the day growing up, we used to cook up the cook the callaloo sometimes till it black. That's not the right way to do it. You're supposed to actually um make it, it make color. it be <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to still have colour to it. Shocking colour to it. Yeah. Hold on, I mean I mean I mean that does it. Yeah. It should still have a little bit of crunch. That means I'm a good husband, don't it? Yeah. That way you don't cook out the, all of the little nutrients. As long as the hard part or the stalks is firm enough, then you know you're good to go. This is the part that you need to worry about. If this part is cooked, then you're good to go. But it's not quite cooked yet. We need to season the pot, babe. Season it, baby. No. Just use some of the, some of the, the um, Forever 21 seasoning. <laughs> Forever 21? Forever 21 sauce seasoning? Yeah, show them the seasoning. Alright, so we found this seasoning that we kind of like. If this would focus. It's not focusing, baby. Move it out of the front of the camera. Put it down in the pot. Hmm? Put the seasoning almost down in the pot. Don't put it directly. Oh, I think I know what happened. I zoomed out the camera too. Right. Okay, so yeah. This everyday seasoning we found at Trader Joe's and it's awesome. It's a blend of um, different herbs along with sea salt. So I'm going to add some of that. Turn the fire down a little bit. And then, where's the 21 gun salad? Some over here, sir. Hmm? Some over here, sir. Some over. Oh. Some, some, some. And you can use some of the, the, the um, old beer. Yeah. Some of the old beer. 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 Some of the old no, that's cumin. It's dead, man. Alright, and we have also this 21 Salute seasoning. And this is uh, salt free. This is pretty much just herbs. So we're adding that for flavor too. I'm going add that something here. It's named Kulancho. I'm going to add it. Shadow Benny. Shadow Benny. Yeah, or Kulancho. Um, I'm going to them up. Black pepper. Garlic powder, right? Eh? Yeah. See it? Cancel. Just use my scissors. I'm going to convert that, that regular scissors there to a kitchen scissors. So I don't use it for cut cloth, only vegetable. You use it for cut paper too? No, no. Only food. Mm -hmm. 
And you want to make your food medicinal, guys, because the body is supposed to heal itself by virtue of what you eat, you see me? So you want to make your food medicinal. How you make your food medicinal? Keep it, keep it fresh. Wow, that is such an intense flavor that shadow on Yeah man. More skeleton. I'm gonna sip a little bit of water, right? Yes, you can because nobody has foreign wants, no. foreign color don't spring water. I don't know why. Foreign things don't spring water. I don't know what happened to them. So I'm adding a tad bit of water to that. Yeah. I eat that. Let me just do a little taste test to see if it's flavorful now. When the actions are. You put some on here? Mm -hmm. Wow. Tastes good though. This is onion flakes, guys, and it's not onion powder. These are the flakes. Yeah, dehydrated onion flakes. Very good. Very, very good. Shadon Benny tastes good. Too. Me know say Shadon Benny tastes good. I'm telling you, my girl. But a little more garlic salt and then. Me garlic. know the thing. Me know the thing about it. You see? <coughs> see that? The fresh color look. Nice. Oh, another thing that my dad would um put in his color look is chicken noodle. Chicken powder. Chicken noodle. Anybody put chicken noodle in their kalalu? So that would be his salt salt um substitute. Mm -hmm. And it gave it a nice soupy flavor. It not not no nice. It nice. So we if, if I was the one cooking Some this, people put chicken put noodle in them kalalu for Yeah, I like chicken noodle in there. Actually make it taste good. So shout out to my daddy. Big up to my daddy. Cause you mean your daddy? My daddy teach me the thing. I eat no hello and, and can be no sir. Wow, watch when you cook it, Kevin. No, I may need that the boss. Click, um, the, click the down button there, just see well, let's see that. Fiber, 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 fiber. Kalo have the most iron fiber. It's the most substantial green for your body ever. Okay. Remember. Kalo and turkey neck. Really, Lashawn? Go over, baby. Okay, you stepping out there, girl. It's supposed to be chicken back on Aki. Okay. Go over, baby. Is there a specific time to enjoy serving a serving of kalalu? We like the question them often. No, sir. Kalalu can be eaten anytime because kalalu, kalalu is easy to digest. It's mainly a breakfast thing, though. It's mainly a breakfast thing, but Jamaican it, it can also be eaten as a side dish, if you know. So it can be a vegetable substitute. You like how you have a side chick? Like if you're eating your rice and your chicken, you can actually use kalalo as you... What you... When did I talk and I realized that the camera wasn't in the... Yeah, <clears throat> you can use kalalo as your vegetable substitute. Also, you can eat... You can eat the kalalo any time of day. It flushes right through your body. It's not hard to break down. It's not hard to digest. And so, there is no restriction as to what time of day you can eat kalalo. All right. Guys, she is the president of the Kalalu board. Yes, yes. They need to employ me from the Kalalu board. Side chick. Somebody would have to catch that joke. He Angela says side chick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oi, Alu, long time. Okay, Ameka. I can't call her name, girl. Or what? Ameka, Isra, Aya, Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that recipe? Mm -hmm. She said, Welcome. hello, long time. Hi. But I can't call your name. You Break it down. Break it. it down. I can't pronounce your name properly. I don't want to butcher it. Um, Juliet says, I do use it as a side dish all the time. Yeah, man. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Kalalu is the bomb. Yeah. All right. So now we are preparing our pot. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to clean by the camera because it got um, steamed up. <clears throat> you can put it back on high until it gets it. I did. Let me get the color for that. Get the one. And for those who are just joining, like Amaka, this is what we're planning to have for 
breakfast with this is some green bananas and some boiled yam and over here dumpling and okra dumpling and okra we should I take home okra in the car them and get yeah, two, two your okra cooking oh my god make that do hot not hot not hot I guess it's hot Alright. Now normally I'm not do this. Normally I'm putting my sausage first. Angela says she's still waiting on her invite. Angela. Are you in Soflo? Of course she's in Soflo. She's in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, hurry up. Angela, why are we working on something for the Thanksgiving? Happy Christmas. Mm -hmm. Normally I'm going put, to put the sausage first and make it brown. But this morning I'm going on a mission, you see? So I'm going to try it. Eh? What's the mission? Quick move. Make it stay brown a little bit. It's gonna brown, man, but you, you can make it's it brown and catch brown. flavor. It's gonna, guys, I have a problem. This is a problem that I have. And we were talking about music this morning. Everything that is said that any remotely reminds me of a song, I literally sing it. So, like him said, it's gonna brown. Immediately, I think of it's gonna rain. So it's gonna brown. No, well, this morning we were talking oh, about yeah. music from the level where, and this is this is in my Jamaican context. Mm -hmm. I realize that majority of what we put out in Jamaica mm -hmm. is songs that degrade women and you know them raunchy music, right? Or, or promotes negativity yeah. in some way. Yeah. And a lot of Jamaicans don't understand this that music is the only element on the earth. That wasn't created upon the earth. Mm -hmm. If you want to get religious. Morning, Elaine Peterson, watching from Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, big up in the cell, Brooklyn. May I add my. It's on the way. May I add my weight name there. Hallelujah. May I add my garlic, no, my, my onion. Yeah, some, some music wasn't created on the earth if you go biblically, you see? Mm -hmm. Music was made in heaven. And. A lot of people say, oh, Satan music. No, there's no such thing as Satan music. Mm -hmm. Satan wasn't the creator of music. God created music. Mm -hmm. And music was created to worship. That's it. The only reason for music is worship. Okay. You see me? Now, Satan get in charge of music. And what Satan do is decide to use the music to glorify himself. Hence, we end up with music that tells you to do negative things. But every music ministers to you. Mm -hmm. Every music. You see me? And the reason why music is such an influence is because anytime you hear music, the right portion of your brain shuts down. No, the left portion, so sorry, shuts down. Mm -hmm. And only the right portion of your brain is operating. Now, I start here this. Mm -hmm. Make sure the sausage cook nicely and the vegetable them start get them thing. You know? So music is affecting people and them not understand this. Every time you, you listen to music, you worship. You hear that? Every time you listen to music, you're worshiping. You see me? And music is doing something to you and many people don't understand it. Same. It's just who you worship. Mm -hmm. Alright. My wife loves this song, guys. I can't tell them this song where you love. Mm -hmm. She loves one song where say, Me and Mrs. Jones, we got a thing going on. I like the composition of the song. Alright. You love the composition of the song. You love how the song sound and everything. But hear the song I tell you if you do. The song I say, you and Miss, your man and Mrs. Jones are cheap and them, them, them significant other. Mm -hmm. And some adultery song that you know. Yeah. Adultery, the song is telling you, say, adultery, we know it wrong, but we keep it much too strong. Mm -hmm. So let it go now. You see me? Now, have you ever listened to a music in the morning and in the evening, you still sing the music? Yeah. All that the get, night, you still sing the music. The song out head. Can't get the music out of your head. Why? Because the music can minister to you. Mm -hmm. The music is ministering to you. Mm -hmm. All of them youth they will go and shoot up places and, and kill off whole heap people. Them did a listen to some form of music. Mm -hmm. Them was being them was being 
minister to Definitely. Yes, yes, I agree. So them get to a point where the music tell them to go do something and then finally get convinced enough to go do it. Now, watch Jamaica now. Jamaica is getting to a place where women are becoming the main purveyor of the music. Women start to dress naked and I tell you, say, them can, them, them this good and what part of them good, them I tell you about them anatomy. Because guess what? One time a man you used to have to study a woman to know about her. Nowadays, you see everything. You don't have to study nothing. Mm -mm, everything is right. I'm glad to have a wife. I have a wife when no, no, I me, me, me can't go on social media and I don't see one naked picture. I don't see no picture with her bottom up in the year and she has some bad sort of thing. Nowadays, you, have, you get married and you don't even know where your, wife, where your wife used to do before. You see me? Some image good as a surface and you see her a skin out in a some club or something, something because social media get to that point you now. But the music is being the music is being used by the enemy to influence the society to do some things when not necessary. You see me? I put time in the, in the, the, the thing. Time? Yeah. I put some skelly on. You can't forget the ketchup. No man, them something that I come later. Okay. You know me, he's a big ketchup, ketchup advocate. Yeah man, them trick you. <laughs> trick you and make you love ketchup. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is guys, we have to be aware of what we're listening to. Because when we listen to music, we are doing what the music was created to do. Worship. Some man listen music and them, them want to make love immediately. Some people listen to music and them want to shoot up the whole place. Them get angry. Them get angry immediately. Some people listen to music and them want to take drugs. Some people listen to music and them get depressed. Or them get happy. Mm -hmm. Because music is, is spiritual. It no matter what type of music and who sing it. It could have been the, 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 the most... The hi, most. Hi, hi. Oh, sorry. Forget about you and the pepper, you know. <laughs> it could have been the most deepest dance hall music where everybody uh, has, has shoot up the place and I said man, man a bad man ray 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 is a spiritual thing it's just which spirit it appeal to mm -hmm. it's a spiritual thing but it's who for spirit yeah channel and that's what music has been created to do channel me channel spirits you see me that's why some man listen music and them come away not knowing themselves where the ketchup? We finish. Oh no. Look in here. Hey. Hey. There's one in here. Ah, may I put some sweet and sour sauce from the Chinese restaurant? Oh Lord. Help me. Help me please. And it have some ginger in there too. I used to worry about the things that he does when he's cooking. But I no longer worry because it always end up work. No matter how weird it, it seems. For some strange unknown reason, it's always because the Lord teach me that cooking is an art, mm. and if you don't know the art, you don't study art at school. You can't cook. Really now? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so the music thing, catch up now, catch up. We. Angela say it look delicious. Angie, thank you, Angie. I some of you are good people. Wisdom. You see me? Thanks, Agatha. Watch now watch this your kids come home from school and them spend 90 percent of them time with something in them ears mm -hmm. i tell them what to do mm -hmm. you understand you give you give you give these these hip-hop artists and these reggae singers and all these musicians you give them a pulpit to purvey a spiritual message mm -hmm. and the pulpit is music when churches in a Jamaica locked down for the night, we go up and, the other day I was in Jamaica and I was on Manning's Hill Road. And see, driving from Constant Spring Road all the way up Manning's Hill Road, all of the church them locked down. Mm. And you sit on the side of the road, mm -hmm. every style have a, have a, have a, a sound system I play. Okay. So you listen to music I go all the way up Manning's Hill Road. Mm. You know, girl skin out and head tap and who oh, this and man a bad man and mm -hmm. every single one of them and it's a, a peer message. 
all of them sending a message. message sending messages spiritual messages mm. in the man them head man sit down and roll them weed girl half naked a skin out per man in zil road and appear things are gone some people say them are listening hip hop but look on this you get a stripper am i can say go become a rap artist what do you think they are going to sing they are going to sing about the pole because that's what they know right. you see me and so now we are being edified and educated by people who not no know themselves. You see me? I'm just saying it from this level. Be careful of the things that when we listen to. I'm taking my own message. Mm -hmm. You see me? This man and the wife who was listening to this song, I, I, I'll be down by the river. This is a piece of ginger. See it here? Piece of ginger. Mm -hmm. And we just keep it in the pot. This man and we are listening to this song here by Morgan's Heritage. I'll be down by the river Waiting on the good Lord to pass my way Oh yeah I'll be down by the river hey. Singing songs of joy on this lovely day And the song I minister to we in the car You just feel like you're there on riverside same time You feel like you want Just in a cool quiet place of worship mm -hmm. And people don't understand the ramifications of putting things in your mind that, that are not edifying, things that are not that glorifies violence and immorality and them things. That, you know? What am I saying? Final analysis. Mm -hmm. Be careful of what we listen to. Be, be careful what mind. you allow in your ear gate. Yeah, your ear gate and your eye gate and your nose mm -hmm. gate. You see me? That's why man cook good food because your nose is a gate too. <laughs> Rosemary said I was listening to that song last night. Trust me. You yeah, see man. me? So we're about to wrap up the cooking. It's been 52 minutes. Oh, time We to always serve. strive to go under an hour, so we have to get it together. Yes. You want to put a little barbecue flavor in there? Or no? mm. Oh, you put the sweet top there. It is okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the back plate. Let me just stir this one more time. So even if a sausage, guys, me still have to try to make it look a little bit more intelligent, you know? Mm. I'm not going to chew in this as raw sausage. And you don't want and it to look ignorant. No, I don't want it to look ignorant. So that's why I always dress up my thing with like a vegetable and thing and thing, you see? And it look like a... And, and this now, we just start touch this for dinner. Yes, I mean. Nice, 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 oh, nice. Daddy. Oh yeah. And the final thing we make a dump in is some cilantro. Yeah, that's what after having with herbs. The herbs. Yeah, the Bible said the herbs was given for the healing of the nation. So if you are cooking you have no herbs tonight, you're not really heal your body. You see me? And we just lock off this now. Because we don't want our herbs them cook out. You see? I'll take mine with dumplings. And the dumpling will serve it with uh, my girl. Juliet, a dumpling will serve it with you know. Watch your, watch your folks. Watch a close up. I'm waiting for my close up, Mr. Deville. <laughs> watch a close up. Remember me tell ya. I want that Kina in the neighborhood. No, I mean in the area. No neighborhood around here. Yeah man, music man, I want T, I want dangerous thing man, I tell us eh? I'm starting to understand fully. Yeah. You know? Oh, I need a little bit of water. I'm drinking. I'm drinking. I'm drinking. Yeah, yeah, you hear that? You hear that? You hear that? <laughs> you hear the music on? I'm drinking. Where you drink? Hear me? I'm drinking. <laughs> and the first thing I'm going to say, I'm drinking rum. And Red Bull and a two poison that you know. A two poison. But we we allow we allow um where where the youth your name there? Fabi Dali, I went name. I don't mean, remember them man the name in you know, the car. Long time. You not know, listen to. Oh a, a beanie man. Beanie man? Eh? But tell we say we must drink rum and red bull. And beanie man have sickle cell. So both the both rum and the Red Bull, dangerous theme for go drink that. But we are following him though. 
You see? And being the man of my friend. You see? Because we grew up together. As a matter of fact, me and his sister was good friend before she died. So I know nothing me against the man, I know nothing me against the youth, but me I tell us music is something that we need to be aware of that it's sending matrices. Matrices. And some of the matrices that it's sending are dangerous matrices because it inspires us to do things that are not right. Be careful. I mean, say, when you look on when you look on the, the feed on Instagram and see what come out of Jamaica, guys, is a steady stream of you know just just negativity. Almost every woman we put on a picture on Instagram, them half naked, and them have skin out, up up and a jig up and a jill up themselves, and the thing and you know when you look on this Jamaican top social media as them, you end up. Because you don't know what is going on, where this has come from. Make some color this morning. And we make we make some color this morning. And we're making see come share now. My phone I get trouble. It has said the thing I, I, I get at. For real, for real. For real. Yeah man, for real. Yeah man, so I this other thing there. Just the thing there. That's your eh? That's phone? Yeah. But it says phone will it will um not charge because it um, it and now it is burning up. Sure. Beverly, why if they right there someone she go and share out the phone? We make color low with dumpling. I am and um what that's up my name we'll put some okra in there oh all right this this is my weekly promotion now you see this see there palm yeah pomegranate juice see him are the worst tasting pomegranate juice this on the market this is the real thing this, and that's see, the fruit. see the pomegranate, yeah. The wife ate always um, share out the pomegranate, pick them out and put them in the fridge. Pomegranate is life, guys. Anything with purple, anything with deep red, any foods with deep red or purple is life. You see me? But if you can get the pomegranate, palm. And this is one hundred percent pomegranate juice or panganat. Jamaicans call it panganat. See? In? And it have not only the seeds, but the pulp okay. and the skin. Yes, see me? All of that into the pomegranate. Yeah. No, for real, alien. Music, the music thing is dangerous. So what I'm seeing now is you have some. You have in Jamaica, them have problems now with things like pedophile. You, you, you mm -hmm. come. Bring it on. Yeah, bring the bring the pot come and you're gonna put the, the, the color right here in the circle of the banana. Right here. The circle of light. Meat? Yeah, me notice. See the color right here? Yeah, right. Aye. See What's the pepper man? The pepper oh, they look good. Right there, yeah, see there? Color low. <laughs> nice. That's it, you don't need nothing more. You want some little gravy now. Get some find find some juices or tight. What about the sausage? You're not going on it? You want sausage on it now? Yeah. Then put sausage in the my girl. The color lunch. You have to go find a place to put the, 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 the sausage though. Are you not put no are you not putting no waiting in there? No. In the okra? Not yet. Alright. You go so.
still waiting on my serving. <laughs> Elaine. Christmas breakfast. Here you know. <laughs> Why are going to be with them family Christmas so they can't come? Where do I put this? Oh, me for no. No, you want it on the plate. You try to find space to put it. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to eat to leave the plate. <laughs> well, take it out. She take out the yam back. Yeah, and put down. Yeah, take out the yam. Oh, the ginger made it. All right, that's enough. How the plate look, guys? It's your breakfast plate. I am there, I am there, not fit right there, so none at all. So, Mister, if you want to put it there, you put it there. <laughs> I'm gonna mess up my dumpling. I saw we have to prepare the food because we take picture it put on um, Instagram. So, bear with us, guys. All right. And that's it. Our breakfast live. No, I'm not okay. Breakfast live has been as is done for another another week. You let me not know where that piece of yam there for. It's just a distraction to Should me. I take yam? Me not know. Ask the people then. How the yam look guys? Should I remove this piece of yam? Does it detract or take away from the presentation? Let me know. What do you guys think? Should I take up the yam or make the yam stay? Take up the yam, make the yam stay. Me to take up the yam. <clears throat> the first answer. Left it on the plate. Thank you, Juliette. <laughs> Juliette said left it on the plate. It's not bad. It looks like a good little bridge. You know? Between... Yam bridge. <laughs> a bridge between the dumpling. Like a bridge. But yeah guys, so this is how we ten eel say it's a little bit too crowded. That means all right, we need a tiebreaker now. The third answer is what going to be the deciding factor. Too much things on the Alien plate. said no, no what? Give it to me and you will know. <laughs> <laughs> Alien, no. No as in what? Take it up or left it. Mm -hmm. No understanding no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, this is how we knock out breakfast and the dinner at the same time because the sausage that we made is really for dinner, you know. So we're going to have the sausage and the dumpling for dinner and we're going to focus on the callaloo and the banana and the yam for breakfast. Our maybe when you have everything now, Elian, so left it. Yeah, we we'll left it. Mm -hmm. So this is our breakfast, guys. Oh, it's so good it's still firm this is a very balanced meal it might be a little bit too much for one person but yeah for presentation sake yeah this is what it's looking like Take a picture you have the greens and the reds and the whites all right so now to take a picture for zigram
Do you want to talk to the people? Get <laughs> down right on whistle. Mm -hmm. That's that right seat. Hello. Say something to the Hello. Folks. Hello. Hello. I was just taking the picture. That's what it looks like on our Instagram. But yeah, we're about to wrap up. We're pretty much um, going to be getting ready to have our breakfast. And we're going to have it with some OJ. Orange juice. So we just have. I don't know. I like to eat my um, pomegranate with juice. And I'm putting some grapes in the cup too. And then just pour the orange juice. Okay. You want to show my t-shirt? So you have all of that goodness to eat after you finish drink. Yeah. Mm, your t-shirt? Yeah. yeah and guys, for those of you who have heavy breakfast for a Trinidadian. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and continue spreading your recipes and word of God. Eileen says, thank you. Eileen said, please do a steam fish presentation. Okay. I guess we can do a steam fish, right? Yeah, one of them evening, yeah. One evening. We're going to do dinner live and do a steam fish. Yeah, back to the, um, the t-shirt argument now. Yardy Belly TV, as you guys may know or may not know so far, has launched a Yardy Lifestyle um, line, apparel line. And this is one of the t shirts that pretty much says Tonya Han Make Fashion, which is the tagline for the channel. Mm -hmm. And if you get this shirt and you're a guy, it makes you thick. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> but we have the female ones too it's a lot it's a lot of um shirts a lot of designs and they are fantabulous let me see <clears throat> right once you go below right right below your your youtube page you okay. see a shop no button once you click to that click on that button then it takes you to the page this is another one of the you can't see it really that's rocking his hoodie from the line. Jamaica, Jam Down, Jam Rock. And it's a Jamaica flag. That's one of the designs. And this is available in t-shirts and in hoodie. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, so thank you guys for joining us. There's some more, yes. Me and Sim Simma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the belly and Aki, you know, yes, rocking their t-shirts. Me, Josh, and Sim Simma, yes, rocking our t-shirts. Me rocking my t-shirt. Sim rocking her t-shirt. All of you rocking our t-shirts. But yeah, it's a, it's a lot of different designs. And we even have more, you know. And we have tank tops for the women. So just go on there and see if you like. You owe it to yourself to just at least look. If you look and you don't like what you see, then that's different. But... Don't rob yourself of the chance to look. Alright, so this is our juice, guys. This is our breakfast. Thanks for sticking and staying with us. It's been an hour. And we are going to be signing out. Alright? So, yeah, the belly. Any final words? Alright. Until next time, stick and stay. Bye. <laughs>